So I know I am personally very guilty of this when it comes to photography. I always need some sort of inspiration, something to keep pushing me, to keep me going, to keep taking new photos such as uh, gear, new lenses, uh, new techniques, sometimes even new accessories. So that's what this video is about. I'm going to be sharing with you guys 10 photography accessories under 50 big ones. Let's go. Okay, so to really kick things off, we need something to store all of our handy dandy gadgets, knickknacks, doodads, whatever you want to call them. So this is where this guy comes in. This is a backpack I have. I absolutely love it. Um, the one I have linked down in the description below is under $50. It's a newer backpack, um, about $40, $45. Has extra compartments, knickknacks, like places to put all your desires, all your hopes and dreams. You can store them away. And my buddy has that exact same one and it's super handy and it works really well. It's actually fairly decent quality. So for under 50 bucks, you cannot go wrong with one of these, but let's move on. Let's throw this bad boy out. And at number two, this is a janky little tripod. This is not the exact one I've linked down in the description below. This is one of those uh, Amazon basics ones for like 20 bucks. Um, the one I have linked is made of aluminum. It is much better quality. Uh, $45, I believe, uh, extra features, more stability. You want to make sure you put your camera on something fairly solid. So that's where one of these guys comes in. Still a cheap alternative. It's not hundreds of dollars like some of these other tripods are, but it really gets the job done. So let me just, <clears throat> there we go. That's back. Let's move on to item number three. Number three. This is an SD card case. Man, I opened it upside down, but that's not a problem because you guys are taking Instagram bangers and we need to make sure that we have plenty of storage and plenty of protection for our storage. But anyway, you have plenty of SD, SD card slots here. You actually get 12. Um, the, linked, the one linked down in the description below is in red, which looks so much cooler than mine in yellow, but this was a Christmas present from my brother and I greatly appreciate it. And you guys should get yourself Something rugged like this too, it really gets the job done. And now at number four, we have a lens ball. You have seen this all over Instagram, all over Facebook. You're probably gonna see it again because I just mentioned it um, all over Amazon. This is this is really neat. I've only used it a couple of times. I took it to the mouths with me, took this shot. Uh, you can also use it for long exposures to get like, how does this look in front of the lens? I don't know how you guys can see me. Do I look funny? I hope I look funny. Do I look stupid? probably look stupid. I always do. But that's besides the point. This can actually get you some fairly interesting shots. A lot of people have it. This is very, very mainstream. But what can you do for 25 bucks? You really can't go wrong. It's just something else to have around to mess around. And then people you have over and they ask you what it is. I mean, you show them. You show them what it does. It's pretty cool. And a one, two, three, four, five. Everybody needs a flash in their camera bag. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mambo number five. I I regret that, I apologize. But at number five, we do have a little newer flash. This is a TT560. You can actually use these on any camera body. You can use it on Sony, on Nikon, on Canon, which is really dope. Hot shoe adapter, you just put it right on. And they're actually fairly powerful. I've used this quite a lot. Let's, and we're gonna, we're gonna test it. I'm gonna, see, it's like super, super good. $45, 50 bucks, does the job incredibly powerful and I've actually used it for like a lot of events that I've needed to like just fire extra light like weddings, events, low light photography and it actually doesn't limit you from being able to go outside to shoot some portraits or things of that nature if that's what you're into. And now at number six, oh hold on it looks like just again this is a little prism it is a bit, bit it is used to refract light and to provide you with extra cool shots so if I put it here next to my light I don't know if it'll do anything if you'll refract any light on top of me but if I put it by the lens as well you can kind of see it I don't, I don't know if it does anything in my face that'd be dope I'm gonna see it in post that's super neat and it only costs like 20 bucks Comes with own, own little carrying sleeve protective sleeve so you can just nicely tuck it away in your bag takes no no room for 20 bucks I recommend this one this one's actually fun to play with okay hold on my camera is a little dirty I got this for Christmas and it comes in really handy. It's like a camera cleaning kit, comes with gloves so you don't, you know, you don't scratch any of your lenses. You can blow your rocket at people and to clean your sensor. It even comes with these extra little brushes that are super handy to just kind of 
dust things off, dust yourself off. I don't know, just a little, I don't know. Super handy though, like for like $15. This one's actually really awesome. Another accessory that everyone should really have in their camera bag, just so, you know, you can keep, keep your gear clean. Okay, so this is a five-in-one reflector. These range from about, well, does it work? Is it reflecting light inside of me? Inside of me, happy? A five-in-one reflector, these go from $15 all the way to 50. You can get different, bigger sizes, and they've come in really handy. You can actually use to reflect light, you can use to bounce light, diffuse light, um, add warmer tones. Like if I'm using the silver reflector on this side, it'll add that same tone. Or if I'm using the gold that's on the inside, it'll make my photo a little bit warmer, give it that little extra kick. The problem with these is I can never properly fold it back up, which is a struggle, but I'm gonna leave it there anyway. That's not a problem. And then last but not least, last item that I have for you guys is one of these bad boys. You're like, Andre, I've seen a Joby before. They're super expensive. I've always wanted one. Yes, the Jobies are expensive. This one's like $80, but the one I have linked below is a very good alternative. It's like $20, one of those like super cool bendy tripods. I've seen them all over the place and the reviews on Amazon are great. So check out the link down below. It's not this exact one, but it'll probably do for 20 bucks. So there you guys have it. Those are my Ooh, not 10 accessories. I think I cheated you guys on one. I think that's only nine. I apologize, that's only nine accessories, but I'm gonna count it as 10 for your guys' sake, under $50. Make sure you let me know down in the comments below if you have any of these, if you actually use them, how you use them, and if you have any recommendations that you guys think I should purchase for under 50 bucks. Let me know down in the comments below, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel, as well as follow me on Instagram at Andre underscore Roman. And until next time, guys, I hope you guys stay awesome.